Oh, oh, hello. <laughs> um, well, as I uh, told in the the uh, the last film, the film before this, um, because it has some haze or fungus or whatever it is, that I will make a film about it. So uh, I should decide to do it. Uh, but let's see how it turned out. It's a Canon FL 50mm 1.8. Nice lens actually. But um, yeah, let's go ahead. Uh, I found out uh, this lens really have some hmm, issue with the some tracks of fungus or haze or whatever it is. But let's uh, put a lens, a, some flashlight through the lens and see how it looks. Hmm. Not really good. I mean, uh, there are some on the front. Is it inside or outside? I don't know yet. But on the back, there are some tracks of um, see over there. Uh, some yeah I tried to move it to remove the uh, part of it from the outside the back of the lens but um, mm, there's still something so <clears throat> I would like to try it with the uh, 3% hydrogen peroxide and uh, see how it will work i just put it in a small glass thingy and uh, well sooner uh, take a look how it will work <clears throat> so how to come in the to those lenses lens element uh, we need to take the retaining ring off here using a um, a uh, kind of tool which I have uh, somewhere this one is very handy it's an old compass which I grind and file so it can fit on many lenses retaining ring is adjustable and it's easy to lock where it should be so Let's see how it will go. So, and there could be, I mean, there could be some issue with the taking off those uh, <coughs> retaining ring. So therefore I have some very sticky gloves, very sticky rubber. It's a brand called OX-ON. Very, very good. I buy it in a hardware store. You probably can find different brands. Or you can use garden. Go to the garden center and buy some gloves there. They are quite sticky. So. Let's see, and then press, come loose. So, <clears throat> uh, this is okay tool, but um, I will just use my uh, rubber tool here, which is quite handy. It's a section of, of um, different shapes, different size of uh, sticky rubber. This is quite handy when uh, disassemble lenses. And uh, if it's okay here to unscrew the uh, retaining ring and take out the whole back lens group. So now I will change to some rubber gloves, other. 
just to not put any marks on the uh, on the lens element. <coughs> just to... So now let's have some operation. <laughs> <clears throat> see the uh, the lens the back lens group contains of two lens element which is actually three lenses in two groups so you see here is those they are the back the most back lens group the back lens element um, have a curved side on the back the most back to the lens and a flat side on the other there is a spacer kind of and it should uh, stay like this uh, so the uh, back lens <coughs> go like here um, and then the next lens group is this, which is two cemented uh, lens element with the curved here and the uh, inner curved convex or um, facing forward so um, but let's see how they actually look when we take a look in in uh, strong light what a flashlight how it will well not really good hmm well I don't think so uh, I will give it a go to see how it actually will um, end up if I put them in 3% hydrogen <coughs> peroxide um, so we need some space I can just use this as a spacer here in this situation and actually drop the lens on and let it stay there for, for a while it's handy to have some napkins <coughs> um, Maybe it will work, maybe not. You see, this is cemented uh, lens element. And uh, it's on the ins on the inside of the of the lens. Uh, you probably can see difficult. Uh, some on the side here uh, yeah not really looks so good maybe it's easier here yeah there are some tracks over there <clears throat> but um, I will also give it a go sooner uh, maybe I could use this retaining ring no it will not be good I will just uh, let this uh, lens stay just a short time see if I can wipe it away with some lens tissue uh, those called pick pad uh, they're really 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 good um, And just take out with a tweezer. Uh, 
and see how it actually looks. Maybe it has to stay there longer. I don't know. Let's see how we can Will it be better or mm, probably? Mm -hmm. Those wipes are not so good to really dry out the lens. It looks like something happened. We'll give it another go. Just to have some uh, sign of how it will go or not. <clears throat> At the same time, we could um, take off the, the front elements. Um, I need to take off the uh, the nameplate. Ah, hold on. Maybe we could put this in. Stay there for. It will not stay on the other lens. But. Uh, hmm. Not good. Have to go in separate. Okay. The nameplate comes off here, uh, but um, we need to actually uh, we need to take off the nameplate. But as seen in many many other the lenses, they put on some uh, thread lock, and they probably have done that here. Uh, we'll come use this uh, tweezer, no, not tweezer, <laughs> compass, and see if I can get it off. But uh, before I do so, I will just uh, put on some nail polish remover with acetone. As the tone is melting plastic or uh, nail polish, and that's what we actually need. Just a little, and put it on those small holes here, notches, and do like that. Press gently, so the. Um, the nail polish remover can come in to the thread where it will uh, soften the the uh, the thread lock. So uh, it, I guess, it will be possible to open it. comes off and then I will use my um, rubber tool here to easier unscrew it very handy there's a nameplate see signs of of a thread lock or whatever it is and the um, front ring spacer it has a lock pin here that goes into the notch here so be careful not to fool around it can only sit in one position so now the um, the front lens group 
is taken out in one single piece um, of course with different lens elements but uh, we take the, the big ring with the uh, two notch holes here and there um, and we can also give it a a little uh, nail polish remover just to be sure we have not pressed too much on the um, on the uh, ring see just press gently and then here and then I take a biggest compass lens spinner and uh, find the correct holes here and probably was tight and again I will use my um, use the other end yeah I can it's so smart tool it says click and click and click and here it comes off <clears throat> now we have the the front lens group which have the the front lens have a curved side front and uh, in, inside we'll take a look at it um, again I need some uh, thread lock uh, <laughs> not thread lock but nail polish remover because there's some here which I need to um, soften just a little and then use a um, this is another kind of rubber tool this is uh, 35.54 millimeter. Oh, sorry. Uh, you can buy those in sets. And it's very handy because it can fit here. I mean, I guess so. Uh, yeah. And then it should be. It's also quite sticky. Not as much as those. There we have the front retaining ring that holds the front lens, but um, I will better do like this, <coughs> and so the front lens comes off onto the retaining ring. And now we see, need some gloves to work with lens elements now let's see how it looks for this uh, for the actual front lens I think there was some sign of uh, haze or fungus on the front but uh, whoa I have tried to clean the lens but um, this is not enough so there are some and it's not on the inside it's only on the on the on the front of the lens not here so um, 
let's take the other lens up and see how it turns out. Will it work or not? <laughs> and it can be handy to have some uh, lens cloths to wipe away the the hydrogen paradox peroxide. I have to clean the lens element with lighter fluid anyway. Will it work or not? Yeah. Okay, we give it a go. <clears throat> and uh, for that, I um, I need to clean the lens element. So I'll put it here on this and uh, I will also use my back part of the those uh, lens ring maybe it's quite big a little too big hmm. so put it here and then I can work with the lens element with the uh, tissue and for that we need some lighter fluid or fluid or whatever it calls and I put a needle on a uh, solar mill it will make it a lot easier to apply the, the lighter fluid and I do it at the corner so um, Well, hmm, not good, but uh, it's better just a little bit. Need to take this ring up and do some wipe it a little. Because then I can put the, the lens on to the other side, like this, and then I will do it again on in another corner of the tissue. Not bad, but still, it's not the um, the fungus is still there. So, but it's it's better. So. This is all for now on this, you can stay here. What about this one? It can be there. Put a ring under it this little bowl 
let it stay there. Hmm. Okay, let's see, see how the um, I'll just let this <coughs> stay there a little and uh, give the other one just a little time just to see how it it will work sometimes it's not very long time they need but um, Well, something had happened. Looks like it uh, it's gone. Then I just need to um oh, to clean the lens element with some lighter fluid. Nothing happened, seriously. Yeah. I think it will work. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> I will give this lens surface a little go. Actually, clean. So let's see how it actually turns out. Much better. Really, really much better. Amazing. Still some dust, but uh, you'll take that away anyway. need another rubber thingy to put the lens on I should have done it the opposite way but um, this is actually just to give people some inspiration in how you actually could clean your lens so Do it again. Sometimes one can use a too, little too much on the... No need to fill the whole lens up. Better. 
just one more to more pull. Really, really amazing. <laughs> so let's give it a go and put it back in the in the house again. And we know how it should face like this. <clears throat> Just need to wipe the this ring, the retaining ring off a bit so it's not wet They are still focus on this lens, but uh, it looks like it's better. So one need to face the so and doing so. And uh, then I will do like this and put the hopefully get it in correct order in proper hmm. so then the Retaining ring, uh, no, no, not the retaining ring, but the spacer will go in and the back lens. So, then the retaining ring goes on. Not this. Where did it go? Go here. So, yeah, it looks better. Just a little. <coughs> It will never be the same as a new lens, but uh, yeah, 
I have tried. So let's see how it will work with the front lens. Because it was quite a bit um, not that good. Just try to put the, the gloves on my <laughs> finger. That's the reason, not easy. Hmm. So let's see how it will go just after a short time. It could really be good if the if the front lens um, would be better after just a short time in the yeah let's have a light no can you see yes. So maybe it has to stay there a longer time, which I think. So I'll just say it, let it stay there overnight and see how it actually will be tomorrow. And that's how it is. Just add a little more, so it's completely under under the hydrogen peroxide. <laughs> Difficult word to say. So um, yeah, but that's all for for now. But uh, so <clears throat> we continue with this. Uh, Hello, <laughs> uh, with um, try to see what's actually happened with this lens element after 12 hours in um, hydrogen peroxide um, just to see if it helps a little or not. Um, it will be interesting to see if the fungus or whatever it is is disappear with this uh, treatment. Yeah, not really. Yeah, it's still there. <coughs> so. Um, But how about give it a, a, a try with the lighter fluid? How would that actually work? I have to find the uh, right here. So um, let's see if if the lighter fluid can can do it. I don't know yet. No.
not good, but um, at least I give it a, a try. So, um, I'll just put the lens back in again. But how about breathing on it? Will it help? <clears throat> we'll give it a, a last go. <clears throat> It's still there, so um, I, will, uh, I will just assemble the lens again. But I uh, hope you have, have uh, could use the information about uh, how to do this. At least go into the lens elements. Uh, I hope it can help someone. I don't know, but uh, yeah. In the next film, I will uh, work with the uh, aperture plates, which I will um, fully disassemble the aperture system and show how it actually is put in. So, <clears throat> and a lens spinner in tool. If I should uh, open the the back lens group here on the front, um, I will just add some some uh, nail polish remover to uh, to give uh, to give the a few drops, and then unscrew it. But for now, I will not do anything more. Just put it back in uh, and let it, yeah. I mean, the lens is not useless. Uh, it can still be used, but it depends on the light condition, but you're working. It could give some, some loose of, uh, you say contrast because of the the fungus on the front <clears throat> to say click so the thread is on so so uh, that was that so bye bye